As we count down to the new year, we take a look at the hotly anticipated cars, electric vehicles and two-wheelers lined up for us come 2024. Hello and welcome to our year-end overdrive show. As of 2023, India has been the third largest automobile market in the world with respect to auto sales. And while there have been a diverse range of vehicles populating the Indian market, the most popular sales choice across the country has been hatchbacks and compact SUVs. Now, automotive giants like Tata Motors, Mahindra and Mahindra, Maruti Suzuki saw huge success with new models in the market. But enough of 2023. Starting next week, we usher in a new year and there's a lot to look forward to. Let's check out the hotly anticipated car launches of 2024. Starting with India's largest manufacturer, Maruti Suzuki, they're bringing in the all-new Swift to the Indian market next year. We've got a closer look at it at the Japan Mobility Show a month ago and also from the multiple spy shots of the hatch testing in the country. While in the styling department, it looks quite similar to the outgoing model, there will be a few noticeable changes to its front grille and lighting elements, but the biggest talking point of the new Swift is its powertrain options. A new 1.2-litre, three-cylinder petrol engine is on the cards with more torque on tap. The new Swift is also available with a more efficient hybrid powertrain option, but we'll have to wait and watch if Maruti Suzuki brings that to the Indian market. Given Maruti Suzuki has already brought a hybrid Invicto and Grand Vitara, we wouldn't rule out a hybrid Swift just yet. We estimate the hatch to cost you somewhere between 6.5 to 10 lakh rupees, ex showroom, and will go on sale sometime early next year. India's second largest car maker, Hyundai, is gearing up to launch the updated Creta as early as the second week of January 2024. The biggest update will be the new 1.5 litre turbo petrol engine that currently does duty in the Hyundai Verna and the Alcazar. This would fill up the void since the 1.4-litre turbo petrol engine was discontinued from Hyundai's India lineup. The 1.5-litre petrol and diesel engines will continue as usual paired with a manual or a choice of a DCT automatic gearbox with paddle shifters and will be equipped with level 2 ADAS systems already present in the Verna and its sister model, the Seltos. We estimate the SUV to be priced around 11 to 18 lakh rupees once it's launched. Hyundai is also bringing us the Alcazar facelift next year and apart from some cosmetic updates, you can expect ADAS as an addition. Now expect the launch uh, in the second half of 2024 between an estimated price of 17 to 22 lakh rupees. Now Citra is all set to bring us its third offering in the Indian market in the form of the C3X sedan. Now, the sedan will heavily borrow its front styling cues from the C3 Aircross SUV, but will tend to differentiate itself by a coupe-like silhouette. Given it will compete with the likes of the Hyundai Verna, Honda City, Skoda Slavia and also the Virtus, the sedan is likely to come with a 1.2-litre turbo petrol engine with a manual and automatic gearbox. Dothar has been spotted across the country on numerous occasions confirming its launch next year. The five-door trim will sport an all-new front grille and new LED headlights and tail lamps and squared off wheel arches. The most prominent changes will come from the cabin with a larger infotainment touchscreen system and a sizable rooftop. The SUV is likely to feature wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and will also house a terrain mode selector. The five-door version is likely to carry forward the same powertrain options as the three-door version, which is the 2-litre M Stallion petrol and 2.2-litre M Hawk diesel engine. It could be priced between 12 to 19 lakh rupees ex showroom once it's launched. Kia is bringing back the Carnival in 2024 and the brand showed us a glimpse of this fourth generation model at the 2023 Auto Expo earlier this year in Greater Noida. This MPV offers multiple seating configurations and in terms of its appearance, the 2024 Carnival sports a bigger tiger nose grille and a single lower bumper intake coupled with vertically placed headlamps and narrow horizontal LED strips. The interior is rumoured to house curved displays and fingerprint identification technology. The Carnival will also feature the latest ADAS technology. 
While globally the Carnival is available with a 3.5 liter V6 petrol, a 2.2 liter diesel and a 1.6 liter turbocharged petrol hybrid powertrain, India is most likely to continue with a 2.2 liter diesel engine paired to a 8 speed automatic gearbox. After shutting down production of the Renault Duster in India early in Feb 2022, the French car maker is all set to come back in the Indian market with a new Duster late next year and will lock uh, horns with favourites such as the Hyundai Creta, Kia Seltos, Skoda Kushak and the like. This update is not just restricted to its appearance, but new engine options are expected as well. In its new avatar, the third generation Duster retains its boxy dimensions, has squared off wheel arches and dual tone alloy wheels. The new Duster gets a 1.6 litre turbo petrol engine with a hybrid powertrain with two electric motors as the main powertrain. A mild hybrid 1.2 litre turbocharged engine will also be available with a six speed manual gearbox in all variants. A capable off-roader, the new Duster provides 217mm of ground clearance for the all-wheel drive variant. The interiors too are heavily updated and taking centre stage is a big 10.1-inch floating infotainment screen. The SUV will come with five driving modes, a fully digital instrument cluster, numerous airbags, electronic parking brake, ESC, hill assist, TPMS and a healthy suit of driver assistance systems. There are plenty of facelifts expected in 2024, ranging from mass market to luxury cars, but we are restricted by our half hour show. But we'll be right back to tell you all about the electric launches expected in 2024. Stay with us, you're watching Overdrive. Welcome back to the Overdrive Year End Special. While charging infrastructure is still at a very nascent stage in India, many manufacturers have shown a strong inclination to introduce the electric vehicles in India. In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at the electric vehicles being launched in the country in this coming year, starting with the very hotly anticipated Tata Punch EV, positioned just below the Nexon EV, but above the Tata Tiago EV. We expect the electric punch to sport a reworked front grille, updated bumpers with altered headlight housing and EV-specific characteristics like a full-width light bar to differentiate it from the ICE model. The cabin will most likely feature the same 10.25-inch infotainment screen that debuted in the Nexon EV earlier this year. A redesigned rotary dial which functions as a gear selector and electronic parking brake armrest for the front seat passengers is also expected. We're expecting the punch to have a redesigned two-spoke steering wheel with the Tata backlit logo as seen in the latest Nexon EV. Tata Motors is yet to disclose any technical detail about this EV and we think the hatch might be offered in two trim levels, a medium and long range similar to what we've seen in the Tiago EV. We're expecting the punch EV to start at 12 lakh rupees. Tata Motors is also expected to launch the electric variant of the Harrier in India early next year. While the SUV might not look completely different from its ICE counterpart, the Harrier EV is expected to have blanked off front grille, redesigned front and rear lights, new bumpers and full width lights on the front and rear. It will be based on the Gen 2 electric vehicle platform and the SUV will be an all-wheel drive with a dual electric motor setup. The electric SUV may get a sizable battery pack around 60 to 80 kilowatt hour and AC as well as fast DC charging capability. Vehicle to load charging capabilities and cloud connected telematics are also expected. In our estimation, the Harrier EV will be priced between 25 to 30 lakh rupees. Tata Motors' electric first SUV, the Curve, is also expected to hit roads sometime mid next year. This premium SUV too will debut the brand's Gen 2 EV architecture and is expected to have a dual motor setup, offering a driving range of between 400 to 500 kilometers on a single charge. The SUV will also have DC fast charging capabilities and from what we've seen since over a year ago, the Curve looks like a mid-size SUV with a sloping roofline and we estimate it will be priced between 14 to 20 lakh rupees ex showroom. After years of advocating hybrid and CNG as the way forward, Maruti Suzuki is finally preparing to launch the brand's very first EV at the end of next year. At 
4.3 meter length, the EVX is rumored to be as large as the Grand Vitara and will be heavily localized in the country to make the EV affordable and lucrative for the brand. The concept showcase at the Japan Mobility Show 2023 gave us a glimpse at the futuristic and minimalistic cabin layout that could be adopted by the brand going forward. The EVX's concept design looks impressive with aero-optimized alloy wheels, flush door handles and full-width tail lamps which might be carried forward to the production spec model as well. The EVX will offer two battery pack options, a 48 kilowatt hour unit with a claimed range of around 400 kilometers and a larger 60 kilowatt hour battery delivering 550 kilometers on a single charge. Prices should begin around 18 lakh rupees and as has been the latest trend going forward, a Toyota badged EVX will also be launched in India by 2025. Last year, during Independence Day, Rohit briefly got a chance to drive the Mahindra XUV E8, which we think is the electric version of the XUV 700 and that is production-ready model is expected to launch by next year. Based on the brand's new electric Inglo platform, Mahindra has stated the battery capacities would range between 60 and 80 kilowatt hour, while the platform also allows for a two-motor option. A single motor on a rear-wheel drive configuration and a dual motor in an all-wheel drive setup leading to 230 to 345 horsepower. The SUV is also expected to come with 175 watt fast charging capability and might be capable of offering a driving range of 500 kilometers on a single charge. Come mid-2024, we'll be welcoming Kia's largest born electric SUV, the EV9 in India. Kia is inching a step closer to realizing its ambitious plans of 13 born electric SUVs by 2027 with this massive EV9 next year. To give you a perspective, it is as big as a Range Rover SUV, sits on 21-inch wheels and manages to sport a simplistic, minimalistic design inside the cabin. This large SUV will offer three-row seating to accommodate up to six passengers and has a quirky swiveling option for the second row seat, which gives the occupants a lounge-like experience when travelling with guests. The EV9 coming to our shores will most likely be a dual-motor option that offers 512km driving range and a maximum power of 380 horsepower, which is pretty powerful. Owning this massive SUV is going to cost you somewhere around 90 lakh rupees as per our estimation. Skoda is bringing their very first EV called the Enyaq to India by the first quarter of next year and we're quite excited about this EV because it'll be a brand new EV that we'll be welcoming in the Indian market. Based on Volkswagen Group's MEB Born Electric platform, the Enyaq IV is slightly smaller in dimension than the Skoda Kodiak and is a five-seater SUV. India is likely to get the Enyaq IV ATX model which supports 125 kilowatt DC fast charging capabilities and gets a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack. This powertrain comes with dual motors, one on each axle giving it all wheel drive capabilities and offers 265 horsepower. The Enyaq IV reportedly will offer 513 kilometers of driving range and will touch 100 kmph in 6.9 seconds. Quite a lot to look forward to from the EV space next year. We'll be back shortly to tell you all about the two-wheeler space, what you can expect from that market. Stay with us, you're watching Overdrive. From sporty street nakeds to classic cruisers, 2024 has a lot of action lined up for you in the two-wheeler space. Let's dive right in. Kicking off our list is the Aprilia Tuono 457 a Street Fighter derivative of the Aprilia RS457. With relaxed ergonomics but power and torque similar to the RS457, the bike is set to rival the KTM 390 Duke and the recently launched Yamaha MT-03. Sporting two color options and a design to turn heads, the Aprilia 450457 would be a thrilling addition to the Indian motorcycle scene. Next up is the Bajaj NS400, a nimble street fighter that is likely to use a revised, low-cost variation of the 390 Duke's engine. Expect superior suspension and a lighter frame compared to the Domina 400. We also expect a TFT instrumentation inspired by the KTM Duke series. The Bajaj NS400 promises an exciting and affordable riding experience and could just become the best pulsar from Bajaj to ever hit the market. 
for the electric scooter enthusiasts, the 2024 Bajaj Chetak is expected to introduce a new variant boasting of a larger battery, a more powerful motor and a new TFT instrumentation with Bluetooth connectivity and inbuilt navigation, something that had sorely missed up until now compared to the competition. Marching in with dominance is the BMW R1300GS, an all-new flagship adventure bike that's lighter and leaner than its predecessor. Featuring radar tech and a monocoque chassis layout, it is set to rewrite its own benchmarks for being the best bike in the segment. For those seeking the pinnacle of adventure, the R1300GS is a force to be reckoned with. Ducati is unleashing the Desert X Rally, a hardcore off-road variant of the already impressive Desert X. With the potency of the 937cc V-twin engine enhanced further with a new race-derived suspension, it is all ready for the extreme terrain. Husqvarna is revamping its 2024 portfolio with new additions to its Witpilen and Swartpilen lineup. These are going to be the all-new entry-level models based on the 2024 KTM Dukes. This time around, the 401s with the 390 Dukes power plant will be available in India too. These 2024 Husqvarna's will also be larger than their outgoing predecessors. KTM India will bring in the new 1 to 5 Duke with chassis enhancements, new instrumentation, and a powerful engine derived from the 2024 Dukes. With a sleek design and best in class performance, it is set to make a mark on the streets. Small in size but big on performance, the 1 to 5 Duke is the perfect entry into the world of performance biking. Royal Enfield is upping the game with the classic 650, featuring the beloved 650cc mill from the Interceptor and its siblings. With the iconic classic body style and enhanced suspension, it's a timeless addition to the Royal Enfield lineup. Come January and Royal Enfield will launch the Shotgun 650, a sportier take on the Super Meteor. The Shotgun features the same engine but has a bobber body style and has revisions to the chassis and suspension for a sportier performance. It is inspired from the custom motorcycle scene and is the first Royal Enfield of its kind. Hero is expanding its scooter lineup with the Zoom 125, a larger variation of the Zoom 110. And there's also the Zoom 160, a maxi scooter based on the Eichmar concept. Affordable and stylish, these promise to redefine urban mobility. Hero is gearing up for its own iteration of the platform that underpins the Harley Davidson X440. We expect to see a standard body style, a not too timeless classics, and one that will help them take on the classic 350 from Royal Enfield and the Triumph Speed 400. Suzuki celebrated the 25th anniversary of the mighty Hayabusa with a limited edition featuring a unique orange paint scheme and exclusive logos. With one of the best powertrains in the business, it's a collector's dream, and it's arriving into India as early as January 2024. The Suzuki V-Strom 800DE is an all-new adventure bike replacing the V-Strom 650. With a powerful 776cc engine and new age features and electronics, it's ready to take on the Honda Transalp 750 and the Triumph Tiger 900. In the coming year, Triumph will add to its mid-range motorcycle lineup with a full fade variant of the Trident 660. Performance tweaks and a sleek design, it is set to rival the best in class like the Kawasaki Ninja 650 and the Honda CBR650R. It's likely to be called the Daytona 660, though I hope they give it some other name. Maybe Sprint 660? This year, Triumph is also set to make its third addition to the 400cc segment that it's doing with Bajaj. There's going to be a quarter-fed, sportier take on the Speed 400 naked, likely to be called the Speed 400 RS taking inspiration from the Speed Triple 1200 RS. The Speed 400 RS, a quarter-fed, sportier take on the Triumph Speed 400 Naked. With Cafe Racer ergonomics and inspired by the Speed Triple RS design philosophy, it promises to be an exhilarating motorcycle. Finally, Yamaha India will re-enter the premium space by bringing in the YZF R7 and the MT-07 to India this year, powered by the acclaimed CP2 engine. With impressive power ratings and aggressive styling, these aim to redefine the mid-range super sport and naked bike segments currently dominated by the 650s from Kawasaki and Honda. No matter what your preference is with your wheels, 2024 promises to be very exciting for all auto enthusiasts out there. Let us know which vehicle are you most excited about. Until the next one, take care and ride safe and wish you all happy holidays and a happy new year from Team Overdrive.